nice case lock here. Um, we are going to work on finishing up our Mandeville weapon for the Dragoon. Um, our queue just popped, started the, started the video, and here we go. You can see how far we can get into this. Kind of be released some short Final Fantasy videos over the next couple weeks until the uh, launch of Dawn Trail, coming up pretty soon. So we want to finish our first ever relic in this game. So we're in a random queue. It's pretty gnarly looking. So according to what I was reading, like I, I'm a little behind on this. So I need to figure out what exactly we need to do to get this. Hey, the man there. Um, that's a great. So I need to figure out exactly what I need to do to finish this last step of the weapon. Um, we got the majestic one, but... people in here who haven't done this before, so we'll see how this goes. I plan on maining Gunbreaker, but um, I'd already started my relic on this character, on the Dragoon, so uh, I'm just going to finish it up. It gives me an excuse to play some uh, Final Fantasy right now, too, which is nice. Embarrassing. Oh god, I should have waited. Oh god, I should have waited. The only friends. We're safe here. We're safe here. We're safe here. It's such a different type of like raid encounter than like World of Warcraft. So different. Hope I'm not blasting you guys with game audio. I need to turn that down after this fight. I think it's pretty loud. Should have tested that before I recorded, but you know. Sometimes you just gotta feel it.
just following the rest of the group, man. When all else fails in this game, follow the group. pattern. Come on now. I'm glad there's people much smarter than me who can remember this shit. I wasn't even in that, dude. Call shenanigans on that shit. She does her cool down. Wait till that's done and take it. Yeah, not like my, my my great attempt here. Never done this before, so. I'm also a little rusty under good because I've not played it much at all in a while. enough to dodge. But I regret saying that out loud. Tank buster. Groups are pretty chill though. She's got some mechanics. Um, this dude looks sick. Thanks, guys. Cool. Good start, good start.
the showcase locked would seem you thoroughly trounced that pesky primal. Even as we speak, mother and father should be informing the radiant host of that despicable Van Hootie's wrongdoings. Katie's fucking tore up. It's so funny. Divine Sarah defeated. Turn the wheel, Fleeta. Yeah. Yeah, he's flying. Yeah. I'm gonna move my Moogle. Put my Moogle right there. It's my friendship. Yeah, maybe I'm trying to move off. It's kind of distracting. It's a very story-driven game. I don't want to be distracting. As fun as it is having the Moogle. This storyline is so weird. The Manderville stuff, I'm just not a big fan of. The Hildebrand weirdness, it's not really my jam. Alas, the moment of sweet reunion is at hand. I'm so relieved to see you safe. Likewise, my friend. But why did you open fire on the airship? Didn't that man help you after your crash? He did at first. He pulled me from the wreckage and saw to it that my vessel was repaired. So in return, I replicated whatever trinket he desired, and he taught him the basics of starship technology, but that resolved to be a terrible error in judgment. I was infected by one of the star's unique pathogens. He took advantage of my weakened state. He seized the ship, flew me out of the jungle, and left me there to die. It's messed up. Slowly, agonizingly, I was able to synthesize a cure for my affliction, and then I came back to reclaim my property. Experiences led me to conclude that a dormant, dormant sentient life forms here are dual-willed, cruel, and I have such a hard time reading this shit out loud. We must launch a full-scale invasion. It's the only way to guarantee our survival. I am mega casual with this game, guys, if you have not noticed. I like that all these ones have been nothing but kind to me. Well, yes, they're all slimes until they laser you in the back. We have to strike first before they show their true colors. Death Ray. What is even happening, dude? This is so weird. Draft of course been breached. If exposed, everyone in the vicinity will be atomized, and we're all in the vicinity. Oh no. I love Brandehild. The pixelation on it's so good. Think, damn it, think. If I'm to stop the explosion, I need to traverse the considerable distance to the starship. But I can conceive of no logical can no logical solution. We'll throw him. Inspector Brandehild, you must employ my father's mighty moves to propel me to the vessel. I too have calculated that Lord Godbert's signature techniques are only means of achieving sufficient prop 
propulsion if there's a flaw in your proposal, I like the strength to properly perform the throw. No time to teach you the starship's controls. Inspector Hildebrand, it is you who busts fleet in me. Okay. Like the Cesaro swing, dude. Skyward as only a Manderville can. I uh, lost my grip. It's so dumb. My trajectory and velocity, the correct shift and posture should generate enough lift and precise motion to. Yes, I can still make it. It's too late. The reactor is going critical. There's only one, one way to save the day. Brandy Hild. A brief time together was more than any defective clone could ask for. Be well, my friends. Okay. Do we kill Brandy Hild? Is this case closed for Inspector Brandy Hild? Assistant, as a chip off the old gentleman, our dear Brand Hilda surely survived to tell the tale. We shall see him again, mark my words. Rescued me, even though I tried to incinerate you with highly, with high intensity phasma blast. Even at the cost of one of your own, if I could only make amends and earn your forgiveness, but alas. There's not to forgive. With his blocky constitution, Inspector Brandhild will be just fine, I assure you. As a friend of Master Pooboo, you're a friend of ours, and with a few minor plasma burns among friends. home planet. It was lost to the phenomenon you call the final days. We just survived only because we were exploring the cosmos at the time. Our explorations, which had herefore served no purpose but curiosity, shifted to search for safe haven. We visited countless stars, but all had succumbed to the same insidious ruin as our own. 
growing desperate, we decided to settle on any suitable refuge we could find, whether it was populated or not. The native beings were hospitable, that we would live peacefully alongside them. If not, we were prepared to claim a new home by force. So it was that I arrived at your miraculous planet, lulled by the apparent absence of metaphysical chaos. I blundered into a mundane war zone where I was promptly shot out of the sky. Rest you already know. Having fallen behind our search, I hurried when I met communication brief and no answer. It was when I met you, Inspector Hildebrand. Those touched by despair of the final days are re reduced to beasts. Given our savage willingness to invade your star, it would seem that, in a sense, we fell prey to that despair after all. Fortunately, my encounter with you generous people brought me to my senses, an outcome for which I am profoundly grateful. That said, there is nowhere else for us to go. Would it be too much for us to live here on your star? Well, of course you must stay. Hooray! I suspect you'll be wishing to repair your damaged vessel. You're not again, wait for me. This is like Pinky and the Brain levels of comedy. Never a dull moment around our Hildebrand. At least we need not worry if the ship crashes, not with an impervious Mandervillian on, Mandervillian on board. It's funny you should mention that. Upon reviewing the Manderville family tree, it was made clear that a lord with an Arabic name had adopted a child several generations ago. saying that you and your son are not direct descendants of Godbrand, the alien progenitor of the Manderville line, then how do you explain your unnatural sturdiness? When it comes to building strength and perfecting gentlemanly techniques, it is not one's lineage which matter, but rather the unbenching convention within one's heart that Godbrand's bloodline be broken, House Manderville shall live on through us. The Bagalga boy can't swallow that explanation. I've also heard talk of some unseen power driven by feelings and emotions. Could that be you and Hildy tapped into that cosmic essence? Well, if that's the case, then you must be positively swimming in it, my dear. Ahem. Everything uh, appears to be under control here. Let's return to the city, shall we? I don't understand the Manderville stuff. People love it and think it's like the greatest thing ever. I think it's kind of goofy. Sipping tea on this spaceship now? Sure. Uh, once more to find myself hurling and superman to speed towards an unknown destination. Another day, another thrilling case for Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inquiry inspector extraordinaire. Cool. Can't have that 15 minutes of my life back. If there's more Manderville stuff in the next expansion, I will be skipping most of the story because I just think it's so goofy, it's a waste of time. I'm finishing it now because I want the relic weapon, but... for an enlightening conversation with Master Poopo on the way back. 
I believe I have the answers required to proceed with our weaponsmithing project. Thank God. I trust the endeavor yet holds your interest. Pray inform Master Gerald of your willingness to assist, and my hammer and I shall make haste to the High Crucible. With that, I bid you good day. Thank ye for all looking out for our beloved son. I'm sure him and the blocky lad will be back for more cases before you know it. Okay. Poo Poo and Poo Poo's friend. You've gone above and beyond for us. I'd like for you to have one replicate a starship we made. It doesn't have the duplication facility or such other technology, but it will carry you through the skies. Use this key to call whenever you wish. So we get the spaceship as a mount. That's kind of cool. It was for us. We've decided to get to know our new home better by embarking on a journey of exploration. So this is where we must say our farewells. Thank you for everything. We are fortunate indeed to have met you. Bye. Seems Poopoo wasn't planning an invasion after all. He even tried to stop his friend from launching an attack. Calling an end to this investigation. Your unfailing support during this entire ordeal has been most appreciated. Thanks to you, I was able to observe the inner workings of Sherlon, Sherl, Sharlan, and even traveled to the surface of the moon in search. My own conspiracy threatened blind me. You were the one to open my eyes to the true shape of things. But this world yet harbors its share of strange and inexplicable, not to least to which is Hildebrand's impossible physiology. If not an alien, then, ah, may it be the product of super advanced civilization from a distant past, a descendant of some gruesome biological experiment. Someone needs to plumb the depths of these unexplained phenomena, and I'm the very man for the job. So we got UFO identification key and gentleman to walk with me orchestration role. Cool. stuff. Looks like the credits. Okay. Sorry. Can't do it. Don't care. Identified flying gentleman. UFO key. Okay. Now we can go pick up the next quest and get to work on our um, our relic weapon. I'm not sure. I think we need to get like 1,500 um, tombstones. I'm not sure how many I have. We'll have to check here. Upon completion, restaurant will receive a matter of a weapon for a tribune. Yes. Okay. I hear Godbert's finally figured out how to perfect this alien weaponry. About bleeding time, huh? We shall inform his lordship that you're here to begin. I think it's going to be tombstones, pretty sure. I teach in his underwear, I don't understand. A long last case lock. The end to our arduous yet most rewarding weaponsmithing journey is finally in sight. And a bloody expensive journey it's been, that's why I'm here, not as dutiful wife or dote mother, but as a concerned senior partner of Manderville and Manderville. Our company's footed the bill for all sorts of extravagant materials and expert assistance, not to mention the rent we're paying for these high crucible facilities. Even at the final stage of the process, that's only one Mandarville weapon out of how sodden many. Our side business and replica weapons ain't exactly booming neither, so I reckon I need to come engage the vault value of continuing this venture with my own two eyes. So let her offer full cooperation to my uh, business partner and she oversees proceedings. There's a sight. Seems his lordship's lost his cocksure composure. 
Pepin Godbert, why don't you just tell me how your ridiculous wealth made you free craft whatever you please? I'd be on my best behavior if I were you, Master Geralt. After all, your considerable uh, remuner or something. The main expenditures, Lady Julia, will be expensive. Let's move on from the topic of armament augmentations, will we? Surprisingly key to perfect weaponry lies in the application of the perfect oil substance known as Ultramanderville. Super lat latitive lubricant will serve to maximize ethereal conductivity. Again with the creepy oils. One might have predicted if the Ultramanderville's main ingredients is derived from yet another incredibly rare atonic material, cosmic crystallite is called. Came to a method for extracting said ingredients from the meteorite, however, my ancestor's relic was conspicuous, conspicuously devout of instruction. I said to consult Master Poo Poo, thanks to his knowledge of civilization, I'm pretty familiar with the closest technique to come. The thought process, one I cannot complete alone. Just keep my stay level present. I don't like the sound of that. What foppish nonsense are you meaning to foist upon us this time? Nothing too terribly taxing, I assure you. All should be explained in due course. We can begin. You must tend to the tedious chore of procuring our crafting materials. Tombstone hungry vendor. Yep. Figures. Three chunks. One of oil's main ingredients. Another shell was shaped for preparing itself. Okay. So more tombstones. Continues. Okay. So let's go see how many we can buy. We'll see how many we can buy, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Can't even buy one yet. Hmm. Okay. So the next video that we do, we're gonna end this one here. The next video is we're gonna hit the duty finder and we're gonna just stock up on stuff. We'll just do a couple of um, a couple of duty finder videos. Get all of our tombstones buy our chunks of cosmic crystal light finish our weapon so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um we'll be back with another one of these um probably next week so we'll see you then thank you so much peace